everybody it's your girl Leah and we are back with another freaking video and that's just that on that period so in today's video we are going to be doing a Q&A get to know me and assumptions about me I'm gonna pick question first because <laughs> it's this here I have it pulled up on my iPad and if you are new and you don't know my Instagram, it is babygirlxxb, B, why not? B, B, Y, G, A, L, and then two X's at the end. First question I saw is from my friend. Hey girl. Favorite childhood memory? Hmm, that's a good one. I got a really, dang. That's a really good one. I got it. I was about maybe six and my family we went to the fair like the state fair we went to go see a bunch of animals we saw pigs and we saw cows horses and all that and I just love seeing everything and then me and my brothers we used to love I still love it my brothers don't anymore because we're they're lame I used to we 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 used to love going on roller coasters and stuff like that together and there was this one particular one that is just the funniest to me where i have two older brothers one is i'm gonna say the oldest brother and then second oldest brother me my second oldest and my oldest brother we all got on the ride together and the oldest was not really feeling the ride like he was not really trying to go on the ride get me off is what he said in his head so the ride is about to begin and we are all fastening our seatbelts. People coming around and strapping us in, making sure we don't fly off the roller coaster. So my oldest brother wears glasses and he was like, hold on, let me go take my glasses off so we can get on this ride. And I was like, okay. Yeah, he did not come back. <laughs> we on the ride, me and my second oldest are on the ride and we looking down at him. And this dude is waving to us, like, it's awesome. Bye, y'all, like, you gonna do a play like that? Like, why did you even do that? Why did you even get on the ride in the first place? Just for you to help off. Like, this dude was not feeling a ride. He left so quick. But that was just the funniest day ever. It was just, we had a lot of food. We got on a lot of rides. We saw a lot of animals. It was just, I love that. I just love the state fair atmosphere, the food, and just... COVID really messed up because I was really looking forward to going to the fair for the last like two years and we haven't been anywhere. And y'all were asking some really good questions. So out of like, I'm probably gonna answer like maybe 10, 15 max because y'all sent in a lot of questions and I'm not gonna get to all of these. It's definitely going to be a part two because there was a lot of questions and a lot of good ones that I may not get to. If I don't get to yours, I'm sorry. It was just, I'm going through like the ones that I see first and that look good. So another person asked, what do you want your life to look like in the next five years? So 19, 20, 21, 22, 34. Hopefully we'll be done with college because if y'all don't know, I am in college i took a year off so i would have been a sophomore in college this year but i'm a freshman in college so yeah i'm gonna be done with college definitely gonna be living on my own and then i also want in five years to be well established on youtube i definitely i take youtube so serious like it is ridiculous like i'm gonna be well established on youtube views subscribers shares likes all that um i'm speaking it out now so five years i'm gonna look back on this video and be like hmm okay girl but i definitely want all of those things and then i want to have i don't know if i said it i really want to have a nice home possibly maybe thinking about having one kid at that time with somebody special and being in a job that I like as well. If it's like, I want to do YouTube eventually full time, but it's like, it's unknown. So I would want my job to be YouTube in five years, but if it doesn't work out, 
Honey, I got a degree in marketing. I'm gonna be somebody's marketing manager. Cause I know how to manage people. I know how to get stuff out. I know how to promote. I know what's trendy, what's not trendy, all of that. So I could be a really good marketing manager for somebody's multi-million dollar company. If we just speaking out of the facts. So that's what I see myself being five years from now. So yeah. So this person also sent an assumption about me. This is like so weird. So y'all ready? Okay. You look like the type of girl that likes getting her toes sucked and then sent the little. <laughs> y'all know I'm gonna have it somewhere. Like, do I really look like that? Cause I don't like, I don't know. I have to be in like, you have to get me in like, the nastiest move for me to sit back and just want somebody to lick my toes. Like, I don't really. Now, if we in a tub, we in a long tub, and my my toes are just <laughs> my toes is just grazing your chest or whatever. Now that's a different story. So somebody else's assumption about me was, you look mean as hell, laugh out loud. When I see stuff like this, honestly, it kind of hurts my feelings. <laughs> it kind of hurts my feelings a little bit because how do I look mean? Like, how does somebody look mean? Okay, so I've asked my close friends this question because they always are like you I thought you were gonna be a bitch or you got a resting bitch face or I thought you were gonna be like really mean and somebody that like bullies people or something like that and I'm just like I'm probably the nicest down to earth realest person that you gonna meet like I tell people the truth I'm sweet and I'm not just I'm bold so I guess if hell I guess if I'm bold, I'm mean. I don't know. I'm just real. If we being honest, I'm just real. So I'm probably like the nicest person. The... Yo, I'm so upset. It stopped recording and I was dead talking to myself for a whole minute. Being a YouTuber is hard. <laughs> I leave off. I was definitely talking about how people say I'm mean when I'm really, really, really nice. I'm actually really nice and welcoming. Like if you met me in person, I'm nice. Cause I wouldn't want nobody being mean to me, my mother, my family, nobody. So I don't inflict that on others. So one of my good friends, hey girl, asked me worst date you have ever had. I've had a couple, it was my sophomore year of high school and I was dating this little boy. I'm not gonna, we gonna call him Jeffrey. I was dating this guy named Jeffrey and he was really rude to me for no reason. Like he was really rude. Like when I say really rude, like really rude. So he took me to this expensive, restaurant keep that in mind told me i could order whatever i wanted i'm over here thinking this is about to be a dream come true okay i could uh, pick this 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 and this okay my gut told me Aaliyah, order you a salad don't order a bunch of food don't order a bunch of nonsense order you that 20 dollar, 30 dollar salad your five dollar drink and then let that just be it don't go over and don't starve yourself on this day going in he was wearing a bunch of stuff like all of that and while we were eating he was making comments about the food that i was eating he was like oh why did you order a salad who comes to a a fine dining restaurant orders a salad you must be broke blah 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 so you're paying for this why why are you worried why are you worried that I want to get a salad? You needed that salad. Let's be truthful, honey. You needed that salad. I wanted that salad. I wanted that chicken salad. I wanted it. So why are you bashing me? Are you projecting how you feel onto me? Because I don't do that. Back then, 
I was so just, I don't want to say weak, but I definitely did not know how to stand up for myself like how I do now. Like if something is wrong and I don't like something the way it's done, I'm definitely more vocal about it now than I was back then. So I just was like, oh, I'm hungry. And this is what I want to eat. The bill comes and he looks at me, looks at the bill. So are you paying for this or not? You asked me out on a date. I never have a problem with paying for a meal. Never. Now if it's offered, now I don't ever, ever, ever have a problem with paying for a meal. But if you come out of your way, wanna take me on a date, you drive me to the restaurant and you never tell me, and you just like giving me the impression, told me, no, not even giving me the impression because y'all gonna take it and run with it and be like, well, you shouldn't have thought. He told me, he was like, I want to take you on a date. I'm going to pay for your meal. Get whatever you want. It was something about that salad. <laughs> it had to have been a salad. Man was mad that I ordered a salad. He wanted me to pay for it. I would have paid for my salad because I had the money for me. I could have paid for my salad. But it was something about that salad. He was just like, we going back and forth at the table. And I'm just like, I'll pay for my food, but you're gonna have to pay for your own food because I was under the impression that you were taking me out on a date. You were paying for our food. Now, if you would have given me the impression that I needed to pay, I would have paid. I would have paid for both me and you because I had it like that. He wanted a reason to be mad at anything when it came to me. It was something about me that he just didn't like. Probably just he didn't like me. <laughs> like that's one of the worst dates I've ever had. Honestly and truthfully. On to the next one. Somebody asks, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? So I wanted to start a YouTube channel about maybe two or three years ago because I felt like I had the personality for it because I'm a very like, Y'all know what that means? I, so no, <laughs> I feel like I'm a very bubbly, not shy, not camera shy type of person. Like I definitely know how to be in front of a camera. If you don't, then you need to go follow my socials because I'm not no camera shy person. Very photogenic, very videogenic, if that's even a word. I have like a lot of story times. I have a lot of prank ideas. I have a lot of beauty ideas. I just have a lot that I can give the YouTube community, honestly, and just be different. Because that's all you need to do. If you want to be a YouTuber, definitely try to make yourself stand out from the rest because that's what's going to make people like you at the end of the day. I don't get up here and say, I want to be like that YouTuber. That's not in me. Like, I just felt like... I could provide good content, funny content, but yet serious content at the same time. So yeah, and plus my friends have always told me like, you're mad funny, you need to do a YouTube, you need to do this. My brother used to tell me, you need to make a YouTube. And my brother is a successful YouTuber. So I look at him and I look at how much he makes. I'm just like, you make that much from doing something that you love? When I love doing makeup, doing story times and doing fun stuff and vlogging and all that and I can get paid for that so I was like why not now I know we got deep for a second but that's I just love YouTube I've always watched YouTube and looking at people do what they like to do and getting paid for it is like a dream so <laughs> that's why I want to do that's why I wanted to do what is the question that's what made me want to start doing a YouTube so Thank you for that question. That was a really good question. The question is, I feel like, I don't really understand this question. 
it just says is having multiple guys okay you're saying like having multiple boyfriends is that okay i don't think so mm -mm. don't commit yourself to more than one person if you're not ready for a commitment you don't need to be dating no you don't need to be in a relationship dating and in a relationship two different things you can date multiple people and not be in a relationship that's what this generation fails to realize you can definitely talk to multiple people we're not married i don't owe you anything and legally we're single now i'm not saying go and be boyfriend or girlfriend with somebody and then you about to go cheat because you're committed to that person you've entitled yourself to that person don't do that don't do that to somebody else's mental and don't do that to yours now if you just saying can i date multiple guys you certainly can you're free you're not married you don't own nobody you that person you're not responsible for them i just saw something but you who don't you're not married to that person you don't you're not boyfriend and girlfriend with that person like y'all don't owe each other anything now if you're trying to build something with someone and you try and you leading them on to think that y'all are going to be something and you're not that's wrong but dating around is definitely looked bad upon making it seem like you're a hoe these women of her subtle she talking to brian this dude this dude she can you not wifing her up so why are you talking i hate that like i literally hate this generation so much when it comes to dating it's so just it's so ugly y'all are so ugly <laughs> but having multiple guys dating yes girl do you now if you trying to all that extra stuff don't do it so this next one is an assumption about me you get annoyed easily i sure do i really get annoyed easily i'm trying to work on that because a lot of stuff like you can look at me like for too long and i would get annoyed like you hmm? like what are you staring at <laughs> My next question is also from my good friend is that you were mean until I got to know you. We used to work at Dairy Queen together. We both hated working there. So my facial expression, I kid you not, would look like this. Every day. And it's like, I could sit here and just and smile and then I'll revert back to like I cannot help the way my face looks I can't help the way I talk like I don't know a lot of people say they're, I, they think I'm gonna be mean I'm just like trust me I'm super nice I'm super sweet when you get to know me you'll see that I'm like literally a nice cool person you just gotta warm me up because I can be shy and I cannot talk to people, but and it may come off as me being like standoffish and rude and bitchy. Just include me in the conversation and you'll see this beautiful sunshine heart. I said heart. This beautiful heart will show. Trust me. I'm gonna do a couple more and then, cause this is like a lot. I did not think that I didn't think I was gonna blow it up like that. <laughs> so somebody asks, who's your inspiration? My inspiration is definitely my mother. My mother is my superhero, literally my backbone, my best friend, my every single thing. My mother, without my mother, I would not, I would not be who I am today. I love my mother to death. Another person asks me, fake friends, question mark. I've had so many fake friends in my entire life. I don't even think I have many friends left. <laughs> I really don't even talk to people like that anymore. Like, I'll talk to some people in school. Some of these females out here are so sneaky. So, if you notice that you have a fake friend and they socialize with people that don't like you, 
don't support you, don't do nothing for you, you gotta let them go. People who think, make you think that you have to be friends with every single body. You do not need to have everybody as your friend. Cause not everybody likes you at the end of the day. And that's just, that's just that. Cause I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like me. One girl that actually hates me. <laughs> she hates me and I don't even know her like that. I know her through my ex. Choose your friends wisely. I know how to read people, so that's why I always back myself out of the equation when I notice something foo-foo going on. Back myself out of the equation and disappear. So if you have any issues with fake friends, definitely get rid of it because they only gonna make your life worse. My next question is how's school going and where do you go to school? School is currently whooping my beyond right now. Not even gonna lie, school's whooping my behind right now. And it's not even just the atmosphere of school because I love my school. I go to North Carolina Central University, period. Like, I love that school so, 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 so much. I love that school. How school whooping my booty right now is these work assignments and the way that these teachers grade. Like, I've been out of the game for like a year or so. Teachers could use some help, <laughs> they definitely can, but so far I think I love it. I'm looking, I'm scrolling through all of these right now and these are a lot of good questions and I can't get to them all. I'm gonna answer like two more, two more and then I'm done. Somebody asked a good question. Could you fuck with, <laughs> can't read. Could you fuck with a dude that's heavily into video games? Child, I already do. I already do. <laughs> I mean, I don't really have an issue with it at all because I know that's his piece. I'm his piece too, of course. If it gets worse and it's like he's always playing a game and we never spend time together, that would be an issue for me and I would talk to him about it. But as far as him playing the game and being a gamer and all that, that doesn't bother me because we still spend quality time together. So why would I be upset that my dude plays the game? I'd rather him be inside playing the game than out cheating on me. Now let's be real. I'd rather him be on the game. That's my take on dating somebody who likes playing the game. So I have one more question. I'm gonna do two, I'm gonna do two actually. I'm gonna make these really quick. Cause some of these like, some of y'all are bogus and some of y'all are bold. Like, you know I can see your name, right? Y'all are bold. Pros and cons of YouTube. Pros and cons of YouTube is definitely, you can be yourself, you can post whatever you wanna post. At a minimum don't be doing too much but definitely doing what you want to do and all that fun stuff and the cons would definitely be the rate that your channel grows my goal by the end of this year and I feel like I'm gonna be there way before the end of this year is to hit 100 subscribers and I'm already around like 62 probably gonna be a little bit more after this video but it's definitely hard to promote your channel to people especially you gotta make them like you you gotta make them want to be like i'm eager to subscribe to her and i'm eager to watch her videos and stuff like that and i want y'all to feel that way about me be like let me pop on aliyah xo on youtube like let me let me do that and it's hard and it can get discouraging because i'm not gonna lie when i first started out that first week i was like i would never probably get to 50. And I'm past 50. <laughs> Pros right now are definitely outweighing the cons. So I feel like if you stick with it, you have literally nothing bad going for you right now. So that's my pros and cons of YouTube. I'm actually, I probably said that this was my last question, but this is my brother's question. So I'm gonna slide this in there. My brother asks, do you watch anime? And if you do, what are your favorites? If you didn't know, 
I love anime. Like, after this video, I'm literally gonna go watch Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. I'm a huge dork in that category. Like, I love me some anime. My favorite anime right now at the top is Attack on Freaking Titan. My favorite anime would have to be Tokyo Ghoul up to season two. <laughs> Season three, and I don't know if they have a season four, is booty cheeks to me, and I stopped watching it. So, yeah. Tokyo Ghoul seasons one and two are definitely it, but anything after that is no. Another favorite of mine is Parasite. I just love weird anime that has like this emotional, like, emotional connection with me. Because if I'm crying, A plus. A plus on the anime. And the next one is definitely Dragon Ball Z. All of them. Super, Kai, Ball. <laughs> just all of them. Because literally, I'm about to watch. I just found Dragon Ball Z, the final chapters, which is like after Dragon Ball Z Kai or Dragon Ball Z, like, when Gohan defeats Cell and all that. Like, I'm literally about to watch it. And that was just <sighs> pocket of gold. I love Dragon Ball Z. I have so much more anime, but those are my tops right now. Like stuff that I literally sit and can rewatch over and over and over and over and over again. So we have come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of good questions and if I didn't get to your question, I feel really bad. Trust me, I do. Cause there was a lot of good questions I saw and the more that I think about it, I was thinking that I was gonna need a lot of questions for this video, but I'm good with like 10. <laughs> Cause I kept seeing like a lot of questions and I was like, I'm gonna have a good video. I'm not doing a hundred plus questions. <laughs> but make sure you guys like, comment, and share and do not forget to subscribe to moi. And I hope you guys have a great day.